I'm speaking today with Sharon Isbon, a name that is synonymous with guitar, and Sharon is coming to town today. She's going to be at uh, Hampton University for the Musical Arts Society at Ogden Hall today at 4 o'clock in concert. Sharon, uh, welcome back. What are you playing on your program uh, today? Well, it's going to be a mixture of music from Spain and South America and the Americas. So uh, it is folk-inspired in its concept and theme, and there'll be two works written for me amongst the Granados, the Tarega, Albanese, uh, Lauro and uh, music from Paraguay and, and Brazil and Venezuela. And the two works written for me, one of them is by Tan Dunn, best known for being the composer of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the mm. film score. It's, it's a work that's inspired by the ancient Chinese lute, or the pipa. So it's, it's actually based on a concerto that he wrote for me called Yi Tu, and this is called Seven Desires for Guitar. And he pays homage both to the Chinese folk music from the lute, and as well as to the heritage of the guitar as I play it, and that goes back to flamenco tradition. So he's doing a remarkable interweaving of these two cultures to produce uh, a a beautiful effect and sonority and and statement. You'll hear gestures of flamenco music and strumming. You'll also hear the kind of strumming you might hear on the pipa, the Chinese lute, or the tremolo effects. And all of this with regard to the rituals and traditions of Chinese history. It mentions on your website that you spend time not only uh, cross-country skiing and mountain hiking, but you spend time in the jungles of Latin America. As you are down there in those countries, do you search for the folk music? Do you find uh, discoveries, that the things that people may not have found, and get a chance to bring them to light or use them in some way? Well, one of the albums that I did is called Journey to the Amazon, uh-huh. and I was joined in partnership by a musician from the Amazon rainforest area from Manaus, Tiago de Mello, and he plays organic percussion, which are instruments, most of which he has made himself and which are very evocative of the jungle, and he composed many of the works on that album. The other music is from countries bordering the Amazon, so certainly I've been influenced by musicians from that area and what I saw and experienced of the lives of people who who lived there. I I actually journeyed with Tiago up to Rio Negro, Negro to one of the eco resorts where you live in a thatched roof house, and the monkeys come and greet you in the morning, in the morning, and the macaws, and the, the, certainly the inspiration for him of the music that he wrote was very much alive for me being there. What guitar are you playing now, or do you play more than one? Uh, right now, I'm playing a, a maker from Germany called uh, Tony Mueller, and it's a beautiful instrument that he built for me. And it's a, a sandwich double top so that you have the option of the, the most beautiful resonance and projection. We look forward to the concert. It's going to be uh, this afternoon at 4 o'clock at Ogden Hall, Little Carnegie Hall, as we sometimes call it, on the campus of Hampton University. And I think there may be a few tickets available. You can hit the box office. But, uh, Sharon, we look forward to having you or in. Or just show up at the, at the event. If yeah. are just hearing the broadcast today, that's probably the easy, easiest that, that's thing. That's the easiest. Four o'clock at Ogden Hall. That's the easiest thing to do. Well, we will, as always, continue to look forward to playing your many recordings on the air and having you in the area. Always come back. You're a friend. You're a great uh, champion of, of modern music and music of all sorts. And uh, you when we think of Sharon Isbon, we think of guitar. So we'll, we'll look forward to having you in today. Have a safe travel down and uh, keep working, keep hiking, and keep finding that new music. Sharon, great to talk to you, and thank you for taking just a little of your time today. Thank you so much, and wonderful to talk with you. I look forward to being there.